everyone um, so today I'm going to show you how to measure um, 5G signal using the over-the-air measurements uh, features that is available in the field fox so currently this is the field fox and I retune it to um, the frequency band of the 5G signal around this area and of course I have a McDo antenna and with that uh, let's get started so I know that the signal um, for 5G is about 3.6 so as you can see right now on the screen um, so the whole occupied bandwidth is about six, uh, 40 meg bandwidth but the SSB is about at 3.06 3.606 so with that information let's tune it to um, OTA go to mode more more if you have a full featured box this is where you're going to find OTA at the last page let's click on OTA so this is the previous um, setting that I've done and what I can do is um, I'll show again this preset every, uh, mode and it will just wipe off every setup that you have and uh, yeah so with the measurements we are able to choose uh, 5G and all so uh, with that we have to make sure that the um, amplifier is on because these are over the air measurements and the base station is quite far away let's turn on the preamp turn on and let's lower down the attenuation to 0 db, db. so as you can see normally uh, my practice is to turn on the preamp first then only I set the attenuator because once you set the preamp on the attenuator will be bump up and instead of doing twice, do it um, with this sequence preamp, then attenuator we just need to do once. And the range is roughly about minus 70, so we can go with minus 50. And then we set the frequency, center frequency 3.606 gig. Then don't see anything which is quite common because um, the SSB signal has to be um, the frequency center frequency for SSB channel has to be right there so we do have a feature we call uh, SSB detections so we just go to trace sorry not trace ignore that just go to measurement setup and more SSB offset detections so this is a bit of features that is going to help to find the SSB center frequency. So there are a few more things that you have to set prior to that. So this is a bandwidth of the search window. So normally I will go with 20 Mac. Um, again, the bigger it is, the longer time it will take. So we just wait for it right now. Just get re ready. Result. So once we have something here, we're able to capture, copy the SSB frequency and dump it to the um, the over-the-air 5G signal measurements. So for now, we just wait. I'll be back right after this. Oh, there we go. So once you see a signal here, um, uh, results, so you just copy SSB frequency. Once you hear the thing, then you can go back to um, the offset detection. Just turn it off so they go back to the... Um, the normal um, table so to check just click on the frequency button and you can see that uh, previously we set at 3.606 3.606 and this is a new frequency of the SSB from the auto detections and over time you you notice that normally the first channel will be always there and subsequently you pop up with a different other channel one thing to be aware of is that if your phone is 5G enabled, please switch off the um, cellular network because it will definitely um, interfere with the whole ring. So I can show you uh, since we are here. Let's go back to mode um, real time spectrum. And my phone currently is off um, from the network. And I'll do this. Um, oops. Hold on a while. Let me set up. So as you can see, this is what I meant by if you turn on a 5G phone just beside the antenna, you have overload um, signal because for the fact that your phone is not a um, big transmitter. 
And um, that's why I do suggest to turn off that cellular network for 5G phone, wherever you do this um, practice or do this measurement out in the field. So thanks for watching.